Next up, the magnetic field due to a current carrying solenoid. Solenoid is just a fancy word for a coil of wire. Let's take a look at this demo first so we can see how this works. Positive end of my battery is on this side right there and the negative end is on the other side. Now, here's the issue. This current is curling around. Positive current is going that away. Right where that compass is on the inside of the coil, which way will the magnetic field point? So I gotta put my thumb in the direction of current and I've gotta curl it around like that. Okay, so at this point, it's kind of, it's not plugged in yet, but it is pointing in the right direction. The magnetic field will point towards me, which on the screen appears down. This coil, what you can't see here is that this coil is above that magnet. So when you do your right hand roll, it'll point that away. Uh, but now we got to do this edge, this edge right here. I'm going into the screen, so curls around, and sure enough, it does also point that way right there. And you can do this for this whole thing, but there's just a much easier way uh, because it's going to be different out here too. So let me just show you what the magnetic field of this coil looks like. The arrowhead is not always north. If somebody drops these compasses it's quite possible they get polarized in the opposite direction depending on how they were dropped. So now, this is now looking correct. So notice that what I have here is, right here the magnetic field's pointing uh, towards the bottom of the screen right there. And then over here, so it, it kind of turns right here and on, on this side it points towards the top of the screen and then it turns around again and it points back towards the bottom of the screen right here and inside the coil it points towards the bottom of the screen. This is exactly the same or very, very similar to the magnetic field produced by what? A what kind of magnet? A bar magnet. This is the magnetic field of a bar magnet, but unlike a bar magnet, we can get inside of it. Which end of this thing is the north pole? This does have a pole. Well, on a north pole of the magnet, the, the field comes out of the north end, curls around, and goes back into the south end. The bottom of this is the North Pole. Notice that inside the magnet, the field lines go from south to north. Outside the magnet, they go from north and they curve around into south. So here is the coil right hand rule, which you can use the wire right hand rule for this, but it's just a lot easier to use the coil right hand rule. The current direction was into the page over here and out of the page over here. And that led to a magnetic field that was pointed this way. And notice it's pointed down inside the coil, but it's pointed up outside the coil. You can get inside the solenoid. You couldn't get inside a bar magnet. And this is where the strongest B field is. Uh, outside, it's uh, strongest near the poles, just like a bar magnet. But you can actually get inside this thing where the B field is very strong, like right in there. So this is the B field due to a coil right hand rule. Uh, for short, you can just call this the coil right hand rule. But what you do is you fingers curl in the direction of the current. Now notice in a coil, the current's going around the coil. Whenever you have a coil, the current's always going around in one direction. In this situation, the current's going around like this. And then your thumb points to the north pole of your electromagnet, which right here is this, and then the opposite pole is the south pole. So by identifying which direction is our north pole, that allows us to figure out so much. We can figure out, okay, the magnetic field lines must be coming out of the North Pole right here, coming out right there, and then they curl around and they go back to the South Pole right up here towards the top, and then inside the magnet, the magnetic field lines go back from South back towards North. So by identifying the North Pole of our electromagnet, we can tell the magnetic field in a whole bunch of different places. Now I will mention that you can just use the wire right hand rule for this, but it just is a lot more complicated and you gotta figure out uh, what that would do. So the coil right hand rule is an awesome shortcut. I will now switch these and let's hope that these magnets switch. Here we go, switch the polarity and might have to 
give it a little tap or two. Notice that they all switch around so that now the top end of this is the north 